Hello everybody, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek and uh, today we're out here, we're going to be uh, tearing apart my deck because I need to rebuild it. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, what's going on here and uh, and then we're going to start tearing into it. So, this deck is starting to rot away, it's like over 15 years old and was never properly treated right, that's my fault. Uh, but uh, actually, let me take turn side with you as you can see here. Uh, that's my grandson there, Nick, taking tearing apart here. Yeah, this uh, it would have lasted longer except for whenever I had the tree fall in the house and uh, they think and did all the stuff. They think just just shoveled everything here on the back of the deck here and just let it sit here to rot here, and uh, so it rotted the deck a lot faster than what it was going. I mean, it was still in good shape before the tree fell on it. So this is what we're doing. We're now tearing apart. We've got uh, we've started tearing apart the. Uh, railing here we're going to take the railing off we're going to keep we're going to keep all this foundation here all this part everything down here is good this is all good so we're going to take everything off the top here we're going to take all the decking off we're going to take all this decking off here and then we're going to take off the joist as well we've got new joists we've got all that coming here but uh so there's and if you didn't look over here further i'm going to come walking around here i always say no i'm not going to do that there because he's busy beating on things i think knocking it out that way if he stops for just a second here I'm gonna walk around here. You know, we were we when we started on the on this other deck here, that was uh, that looked pretty. The deck didn't look too bad. We had to replace a few boards. I came out this year and it was really bad. So, but this is the deck we started. We started on this here deck here, and we're adding on to the deck here. So, adding this here on here. So we got we got like uh, the decking halfway done, and then I bought a hot tub over here. So there's the there's the hot tub over there. So I bought a hot tub and I want to take <laughs> I want to set I want to set it in place in here in the center here of the uh, deck here. I want to take this have it set down here. So now I've got to take all this apart here as well, and uh, we've got to take this here at least uh, eight foot well yeah eight foot apart in the center here eight foot back, and so I can set the deck in uh, the the hot tub into it. So we're going to put that in here. Uh, so I'm gonna have a set of stairs coming down here. I'm gonna take and end up with a set of steps going down over there as well. Got the steps that are going over there. Uh, we're basically gonna completely rebuild this 20 by 20 section here as well. Here, got the lumber ordered, and it's coming in in a couple weeks. Uh, so this is going to be a multi-week project here. Uh, we're trying trying to get it all tore apart before we go on a vacation here in a week. Uh, we're gonna we want to have it all apart, and uh, and then we come back here. We have the lumber and everything delivered after we get back, and uh, we're going to be com com finish this finish this here up here when we get back here. So we'll have redo this here top part here and take apart this here and put the hot tub in and redo. It. So yeah, this is all rotted. We're going to completely do different railing system and everything. So just to give y'all. Let's look at what we're starting with here. So we had to take my two grills, which were over here. I had to get them out of there. That's uh, that's old. Uh, all the way over there. That's uh, used to have sliding glass doors there, and took those out, put the French doors in there, put French doors in here on the deck here. So the idea is add this here all together here. <laughs> yeah, he's over here taking knocking wood at me. All right, stop just a second while I walk past here, and. Uh, so we're going to redo all this here, and over here I've got a pile of lumber, a pile of logs here. I'm buying a sawmill. I'm going to buy a sawmill. I'm going to take, cut this here up into uh, into lumber here, because I'm going to build a in the future. We'll be building a 36 by 48 pole barn right here. So that's the lumber that the, those trees right there are what we cut down here to clear this area, and we're going to use that these trees here to cut into lumber as soon as I get my sawmill uh, which I'm going to order here uh, next week after I talk to uh, after I talk to the uh, the company and uh, they can make sure I get all the parts that I need and everything set up the way I want it so I'm going to order my sawmill set it up cut that in there but we're going to take this here so we've got a little little section over here so all my direct furniture is all out here scattered all over the place here that little section right there, 
we're going to actually take an attach going across here, and I got to take, uh, take and put the door back to the under the, under the house. I got to put that door back in there. But we're going to attach this here across here, so you'll be able to walk from that back door across over here to this part of the deck here as well, and down. So we're going to attach that. We're going to take and run that across there as well. So we'll have addition extension onto the deck here so we get the stairs coming down here so the idea possibly in the future i'm not sure is to make this into a patio down here uh, i'm not sure if that's going to happen or not or if i just maybe expand the deck just larger here i don't know so we're already at 400 square foot we're adding in uh 288 square foot over there uh so you know we're we're close to 700 square foot of deck we're going to have here minus the 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 uh um the uh the 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 hot tub so then if we if i do the same thing over here we'll add another 300 square foot of deck over here 200 200 plus square foot of deck over here so that's uh, that's what we're doing right now so he's up here just taking being destructive tearing it apart he's having fun and uh, so he got, he's got to be careful up there because the decking is rotted. So yes, he's almost he's almost fell through it twice now. So he's got got to be, got to be careful. So and uh, so as soon as we get this year down, we're going to start get the rails down here. We're going to take start. We're going to we somehow went away from the camera. Hopefully, I take recorded all that there and didn't lose it. So we're going to take and try again. So we're tearing this apart here. I am going to check the video, make sure that I didn't lose anything. So. We'll be back as we take start turn more. I'm going to set up something here so I can record this here, and then we'll fast forward through through it as we tear it apart. Nick is actually enjoying the hell out of taking destructing all this here, but uh, so we take try to get this here knocked out of here. These these uh, um, posts are put in held in with uh, two. Uh, three eighths inch, uh, six inch long uh, carriage bolts, and uh, after being put after being in there for 15 years, they uh, definitely did not want to come out with uh, any ease. Did not want to come out at all. So we uh, spend only just a little bit of time on this here before we give up and decide that uh, this is just a little bit too much to trying to get these here posts off of here like this here. Okay, so we got a little bit uh, tired of uh, doing uh, this by hand, so we actually, okay, we can turn it around this way here. We went out and got, so I've got, I already had the, the uh, saws all there, but apparently I just couldn't find my blades. So I went and got some more blades, got some gloves here, batteries here and everything. So we went and got stuff here. So we're going to take and do this here a little bit easier. We're going to try this a little bit easier here. So let's see how this goes. We're going to take and try using the saws all here. And see if we can get this shirt off of the saws on man. I tested these gloves and they fit on my left hand, but God, the right hand is tight as hell. I need extra large instead of just large. Wow. Oh. I'll get these on. Me and my big fat hands. All right. All you got right. fat hands. Look at your arms. Big fat arms. My big fat belly, my big fat beat, me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to take, try to take, cut this out. Oh, it would help to have a battery. <laughs> yes. You forgot to put the battery on there. Yes. I'm not exactly entirely the smartest person in the world. All right. I think Grandma says she's going to be around here at 6 or 7. Yeah, whatever she gets here. So using the uh, Sawzall here definitely helped uh, at least to get started here. Um, I had bought a bunch, like 10 blades uh, from Harbor Freight. Uh, these are cheap blades. Uh, so they didn't last very long. Well, partially because uh, they weren't, they were cheap blades. And the other part was the fact that uh, Nick kept bending them as he was trying, trying to saw here, uh, use it. Uh, but it's all right. Um, we, uh, did get, uh, this part of it 
done here, but we found out that it just wasn't going to work for what we needed to do, but we needed it at least to get started here. Um, he just seems to have problems up here picking cutting this year. I don't know why. Uh, so keep showing him how to use it. It just seems like he's just not making any progress whatsoever. He's just like not cutting at all and it's like not going anywhere. So I just reach underneath of it and cut it underneath until uh, it's almost completely through and he just then just pries against it and takes and drops it. Uh, then he's got to clean up all those parts we just take cut down. And then we go back to the uh, manual method here and we can try to start here from the bottom thinking that we maybe we might be able to take and use uh, leverage from being underneath to take and come up on it and see what we can do that way it doesn't work very well that way so he goes up on top here and uh, works from that way and I uh, show him how to use uh, uh, pieces of board that's been pulled off there to use to give him uh, some uh, spacing as he tries against it so it has you know, as he pulls apart and gets to the area and uh, he kind of figures this out here and uh, works on it does it his own way anyway eventually uh, he figures out what what works for him uh, but he's having a lot of fun here he's uh, as he's pulling apart here all these different broken pieces and everything he's like oh spirit of destiny I mean the spear of destiny or uh, the spear of you know Thanos a spear or sword or whatever it is and you know whatever it is it's, you know just different shapes and everything all kinds of weird uh, stuff there you know based on the you know the, the shapes that they break up into and uh, so yeah he says he's having fun out here he's laughing and joking we're jo laughing and joking around here over during the whole time here and uh, here I am taking with a camera in front of a camera so, doing uh, so. But uh, so I decided to use the uh, um, sawzall to take and get up some of this edge, this edging on the uh, corners here to help here because the way it's tied in there is tight to a couple of boards and uh, um, get them to give me the sawzall and um, cut this out here. And then we can go on and I can go over and cut the other side out, do the same thing there to cut off this edge here. After I have to change blades, lots of fun with changing blades here all the time. Because uh, those screws didn't eat up those bl uh, those uh, destruction blades very quick. Like uh, They're a lot harder than cutting through a nail. So we get the, some more of this here tore apart here. We keep going on it. Now, we started this on Memorial Day weekend. Um, he had come up from Florida, uh, I believe, the weekend before, or maybe it was, yeah, maybe it was that weekend. I don't remember. Uh, it's been a month ago now, uh, and we wanted to finish this here before we uh, went down the, uh, the next weekend to visit his uncle and his some of his cousins, and... Uh, we wanted to complete this year, but uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. Uh, we got to work on it for a couple of days, and uh, rain came in before we got it all completely tore apart. So we get what we can here, and uh, he goes out here, and he's just having fun uh, being destructive here. I just, uh, that's the reason why I take call this here, destructing the deck, just part deconstruction and part destruction. So we got... Uh, uh, a word out of it destructing <laughs> so we're going to go through some more here of him having fun d destroying on this here and uh so this is the next day here he's out here by himself uh turned apart on the deck it's uh a work day so i'm working and he's out here during the day uh burning off some energy like a good teenager and uh having fun on it this year doing this year um now it's uh he uh gets out here and tries to manhandle a board here a little bit later on here and uh um somehow scrapes his finger up here it's a nice nice good scrape on his finger it takes pills back a couple uh layers of of the skin and everything and uh he comes in and says oh we've got an emergency i think 
fell and couldn't cut myself. Well, we found out he didn't fall. He just busted his knuckle. Uh, but uh, uh, Grandma Tink showed him where the uh, bandages were, and he got himself bandaged up, and it was, he was okay. And nothing, nothing, nothing big. Nothing, nothing to worry about. So. But uh, it was funny. He started to talk about how he fell, and we'd go and watch the video, and he didn't fall. He just <laughs> he just scraped his knuckle. Good. So, and uh, so <coughs> that evening, we'll come back out later on the, that evening, and uh, I'm out here uh, now, um, helping here, take pulling off the uh, joists. As he thinks and gets back far enough that that I can pull the joist back and I can uh, get out the sawzall so I can cut some of these screws that are a little bit being being a little bit rough thing not wanting to come loose here uh, come pull through all the boards so get those screws out and uh, then I'm uh, while I'm pulling out these joists he's still taking tearing apart on the deck. And uh, we get just about as far as we can get here uh, before the camera um, can't see what we're doing anymore here. And uh, that's funny as I didn't even realize that the camera was positioned uh, to where we couldn't capture everything. And we just kept working and didn't get it, didn't get and adjust the camera. So we don't get the full part of us doing this here, but uh, we get to. Uh, uh, a nice little chunk here of uh, of us doing a good portion of the deck here and get rid of the uh, about half of the joists uh, through here. And as I said, rain kept us from uh, finishing it up any uh, time that week. So here we are a couple weeks later here uh, getting the last bit of it here that we were, didn't get before the... Uh, before we left to go visit uh, his uncle, um, we try to try again back from down below here because there's not a lot of room left up on top. We're down to like five deck boards width from the from the house, so there's like thirty inches, less than thirty inches of uh, walk area up there on the top there, uh, and, and room to pry. So you got less than twenty four inches of actual pry area to they can work on. Uh, from up the top, so we figured we we're going to take try it from the bottom, and he says, "Eh, no, nope, not enough. Uh, I'm going to go back up here on top. They can use it, uh, do it from the top here. It works better for me." So um, he gets up there and is able to take knock out uh, two more rows up there from the top, and then uh, we decide that uh, that's about as far as we're going to get pulling the deck boards off so we're going to come in and cut the deck boards straight back and cut the uh, joists and do it that way so we come in here and uh, cut the joists all back to just uh, maybe three or four foot long um, I guess about three foot long something like that three and a half foot and uh, so I, then I can cut the decks from there and cut out just small pieces of it here. We get to a point here where we actually hit a um, wire that's nailed, uh, stapled to one of the joists for that's running out the AC. And uh, so that's going to get replaced because I'm putting out a 100 amp uh, breaker box uh, out here because we got the uh, hot tub is going to be out here. The AC is going to be out here. Well, of course, the AC condenser. And uh, we want some electrical outlets out here because we only got two electrical outlets on the whole back of the house here. Uh, one of them being right there where we have the cord right there running up there. So I want to get that out here. And uh, so have to work around that. We can cut out these chunks here and uh, finish this up here. And we were hoping to be able to keep these 2 by 8s that are uh, cut across those 4 by 4s use those there uh, and still be able to use them but uh, there was a couple rotted spots and uh, a couple places where we can tore it up taking pulling out the um, joists and everything but uh, so I decided just to go ahead and spend uh, another couple hundred bucks and buy some more lumber here and take replace those two baits so those are 
uh, two baits that are sandwiched together to make 20 foot long to go across the width of the uh, um, deck. Now we stop right here uh, at this point and uh, get ready to start building. So what we didn't get was Nick coming out here and tearing apart the uh, stairs here and everything. We got this here one piece here. This is the siding and the post for the rails here off of it here. Uh, so he, he came out here and did this here. So these uh, two by eights here, these are doubled up two by eights here. Going from here 20 foot across over to the other one over there where we started. So we're going to replace these here uh, and get these here back lined up again where they're supposed to be. And... Uh, Gonna get the, everything set up where it's supposed to be here because uh, everything's kind of falling falling over here from uh, this. So uh, we're gonna get this here all replaced here. We're gonna replace these here two by eights here because we did tear up a few tear up a little bit. There's some rotted spot down there. I mean it's not bad. I mean I could just replace those spots that are bad, but I just soon just go ahead and replace them, start them off a brand new here for this year stuff instead of trying, trying to have something very old underneath this here. So we might as well have just new, except for the 4x4 four four posts. And uh, all the bracing here is going to be fine here. i got to kind of replace a couple of the braces here that uh, were put up with some, some wood. Apparently it was already starting to rot, but uh, most of the braces is good. So, Well, apparently you can't switch cameras while um, recording, so I can do this here, this way here. And uh, so... Um, this is the end of this video here. Uh, we are going to start on rebuilding this deck now. Uh, we're going to start with uh, those 2 by 8s here in just a minute here. And uh, we're just going to get everything set up here and start uh, recording that. And I'll be doing some audio uh, 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 over the top of that as well. Uh, as we take fast forward through lots of parts of it, but we're going to do some stops where I actually take and stop and uh, explain pieces as I'm going along here. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you stick around and take and see the next video.